to another video. Right, today's video, modifying the Honda CRV. Um, I am absolutely, I cannot wait to do this. I'm excited to get on with this. Um, coilovers here, wheels are here, tyres are on. We are ready to go. Here it comes. All right, they finally arrived. Hermes delivered these eventually, four days late. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get crack on now and get these beauties on, get this CRV slammed. Remember I was saying in the last video about how easy these cars are to work on. Look, access panels, access panels, German car makers. Look at that, easy. Bloody bastards. So here's the new drive shaft. This is, um, I actually did buy another one. Um, I've kind of, a <laughs> this is what's left of it. Um, the outer joint didn't look too pretty. So I decided that the best thing to do, or obviously, and the rubber donut in the middle, it's pretty nasty as well. So I decided just to reuse the original drive shaft uh, with the nice new looking donut, the balancing donut, and just put the inner, joint on um which was fun right bloody mess but yeah so that's all built up now so that's ready to go back in the coilovers are on we're just about ready to well drop it and have a look really and he's in let me in with a hammer there we go Jeremy Clarkson's tool. <laughs> <laughs> So as I've been working so hard fitting these coilovers that took me all of an hour, I thought I'd have a bacon sandwich on my official Honda CRV picnic table. <laughs> Just when you think this car hasn't got enough gadgets, it's got a bloody picnic table in the back. Look, it's even got a bit for the brolly to go in. It's just ridiculous. First drive on the coilovers and wheels, the new coilovers and wheels. I've just reversed out of the workshop and the mud guards are already scraping across the floor. So I think they're going to have to come off. Mud guards dragging themselves across the floor, I think. <laughs> this isn't going particularly well. Yeah. We better get this back on the ramp. 
something ain't right. Right, so small problem. Um, this arm here, which has got to be replaced anyway, is bottoming out. So as the suspension um, goes, as the car sits down, this arm comes up. And normally this is where it would sit, about this height here, but because we've lowered it, it's sitting like right up here in this cavity. And it's actually punching. As you can drive over stuff, it's sort of smacking the, you can hear the car go poof, as it sort of bottoms out. So we have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. We have to either take, um, either smash that in, because I don't really care. I mean, I wouldn't do that on a nice car, but it's only a bag of crap in it. So I might smash that in, um, or don't know. Well, I bought some camber arms anyway, so I bought some adjustable camber arms. So they might fit differently, because what happens is this ball joint here, you can slide this back and forwards, so it brings the camber in. And obviously we've still got this major camber issue here. So this is obviously because of that bent hub arm. So I've got a new hub coming and then we've got adjustable camber arms to go on front and back. We should be able to bring that back in a bit as well. But yeah, so let's give it another go. I've just raised it a little bit. It's gonna give it another drive and just see if, um, see if it's enough to, um, to clear. Right, round two. Made some fine adjustments. Raised the suspension a little bit. Replaced that bush that I forgot about on this side that from that original video. I said something making a horrible noise this side. It was the rear control arm wishbone bush. Replaced that. So replace that, raise the suspension. Hopefully, I'm just gonna try, give it a little drive now and just see if anything makes a horrible banging noise. <laughs> Which it probably will. I haven't taken the mud guards off yet. They've definitely got to come off because they scrape. I think I need to stiffen the suspension up a bit. This suspension is like 180 quid, but it actually has a dampening adjustment, which is pretty mad really for 180 quid suspension. Oh, it's a bit scraping. Oh, yeah, it's just the mud guards, I think. Right, round three. So, I've now took all the mud flaps off because um, they're just dragging themselves across the floor. Um, I've wound all the suspension dampeners to hard. Uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I think we might be all right. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're still bottoming out. Ugh. We have to see if we can um, figure out a way of, I don't know, creating an extra cavity for that ball joint to sit in that arm. Um, I quite like the way it looks at the moment. The ride height's perfect. So, yeah, I'd rather not... Um, rather not have to raise it so we have to figure something out well all right I guess apart from that issue with the arms but other than that everything seems okay all right all right enough waffling on I'm going to show you what it looks like now the moment you've all been waiting for if you haven't skipped through all this video. Um, so here it is. Here's what this bad boy looks like.
it. The CRV is lowered. Um, looks cool. <laughs> um, you'll see what I mean. I, I sort of had this image in my head of what it's going to look like, and it's turned out exactly like it. Um, it just looks awesome. There's a couple of little bits to fine tune, a couple of little bits to sort out, um, like that bottoming out of that arm. That's got to be tweaked somehow. We've got to build an exhaust for it and polish it all up, detail it, get it all looking nice, sort the rust out. So we'll be doing a bit of body work on it in future videos. Um, yeah, just getting it pristine. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one of a kind video. You've never seen a lowered CRV and now you have. So there you go, that's a first for everyone. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, um, share, share this video or my page or my channel, sorry. Um, see if we can get some more people in. Um, yeah, it's because they're, you know, all these people in the world are missing out. There's only a thousand of you that are seeing this cool stuff going on. So let's share it and get some more people. So thanks everyone. Thanks to all the subscribers and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Might be maybe a R8 one. We don't know yet. We'll see you later. Cause maybe it's not when the lights are on and there's no one